had such a wet September this year, but October's sure starting off nice, Joseph. October 1st, it was dry, crisp, clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. really nice fall day, and it's also the first day of our water year, so we have a blank slate. We'll see how that adds up, but uh, yeah, nice fall day. We have some cool weather on the way. We have one nice weekend day, though, too, so that should be nice. Let's get to that forecast. We'll start with our bus stop forecast for tomorrow. It is going to be chilly in the morning. Uh, temperatures about the lower to mid 40s, and if you're outside of Portland, it could even be a little bit cooler than that. Upper 30s, maybe even some mid 30s out there, so no frost advisory for tonight, but I would say it's good enough for maybe a puffy jacket or something to keep uh, the kids warm for the morning hours. It warms up a little bit for the afternoon, still the lower 60s, but count it cloudy uh, and an east breeze running about 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's sunrise at 710, so it's still pretty dark through the morning hours. Okay, here's our weather headlines. As I mentioned, the overnight temperatures, they're going to be a little bit warmer, and that will be for tomorrow morning as well. We have a freeze warning still in place for you folks there for Central Oregon. So Madras and Bend up to about the Dalles and over towards uh, Pendleton. We'll take a look at that here in just one second. And then the weekend, it's looking pretty good, as I mentioned at the desk there. I was kind of teasing ahead for uh, some nice weather as we get into the weekend, which should feel pretty good. Our system that's actually going to bring in some rain late tomorrow night, you could see it here on the satellite, this gray section, and uh, that moisture will continue to inch its way towards the state of uh, Oregon as well as Washington. And eventually it's going to collide right with us as we go into late tomorrow night. But for now, we kind of have a clear clear sky and with it uh, we're losing some heat so temperatures are going to be cold and on top of it it takes a lot to kind of get cold air to budge so the last couple days have been cold the low valleys are going to continue to be cold and we still have that freeze warning that's in place till 9 a.m look at those temperatures yeah upper 20s maybe some teens out there lower 20s for baker city but for us here in the willamette valley and to the coast probably lower 40s to the upper 30s for tonight uh, daytime temperatures still a bit of a hit still down to the lower 60s uh, but that's been just about the last couple of weeks average is 70 now we should get there on sunday uh, if you make it some plans for friday nights right now for maybe some football games and all the good stuff on a friday night it is going to be a bit cool out there and possibly even a little wet so your forecast for tomorrow starts off with a few clouds does thicken up the day temperatures warming up to about the lower 60s there but good enough to be outside without worrying about a rain jacket uh, till maybe later on Wednesday night if you're out late Wednesday. Here comes the clouds. They stick around for most of the day. 930, some scattered light rain showers. Shouldn't be much. I think by the time we get to Thursday morning, still pretty dry for at least the valley. But Thursday evening for the commute home is probably going to be uh, a couple showers there that will make the roads wet and maybe even a thunderstorm. So we'll keep an eye on Thursday. Thursday is going to be the day where we could potentially have a little bit of hail and some lightning and that could cause a few problems. So of course we'll have some updates right here. Uh, Friday evening, yeah, there's still a few showers out there, but overall it starts drying up. If you're going to be in the coast tomorrow, 57 degrees, cloudy for most of the day. Uh, possibly a shower in the evening. That goes for the valley as well, but notice that uh, we only warm up to the lower 60s. Uh, Sunday is going to be that 70 degree day, and if you're thinking about getting some hot cider, go to some of the pumpkin patches or just checking out some of the leaves. Uh, we're already seeing some of those patchy areas now, but the best time is actually late October for us. And with your seven day forecast, you have 66 on Saturday and 70 degrees on Sunday. Boy, I wish it was Sunday already. Oh, <laughs> don't wish the week away just, just yet. Yeah, yeah, we're true. all working for the weekend, though, that's right? True, yeah. Thanks, Joseph. Well, just ahead, the Blazers open up.